New Year to you as well. Um, we won't have time for the full session. Apologies for that. I do have a session immediately after this, but um, but but we will get for our forty minutes worth for sure. So let's 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 up the speed a little bit here. <laughs> yes, yeah, um, I was a little bit. Late. No, no, no worries. It, it happens. Don't worry about it. Um, let's put it this way: Do you have any questions about training schedules, structure, mentality, mechanics, anything like that before we just jump into gameplay? Um. No, not really. Mm. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe we just jump into gameplay then. <laughs> Simple enough. So, Master's support, correct? Master's five. Yeah, Master's four. Low master, yeah. And Master's is still Master's, so uh, yeah, sure. all that matters, right? Good choices of heroes. Always uh, enjoy watching. Is this on all the way through? Mostly. I think I go to Kirigo at some point. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. So, uh, how long have you been playing Overwatch? Oh, since like Overwatch one. Okay, um, okay. It came out. So, so Anna came out. Sure. Like so, what got you interested in coaching? I guess. Well, that's one question I will have. Uh, coaching. Um, I want to get better. I want to take sure. this more seriously. Sure, sure. Because uh, I'm now in the um, collegiate team, so yeah. I just want to perform better for my team. Sure. Congrats then. Uh, that must be uh, must oh, yeah. feel pretty good. It's okay, let, let's uh, let's take a look here. So, Anna, any specific questions with Anna? I just want to see what we see. Uh, I feel like my positioning sometimes is either like too uh, not as good as it should be. So okay, okay. What makes a good position? Um, line of sight of team. Um, staying away from the enemy team. Sure. Taking cover. What do you think you're missing with your positioning? Anything in particular, or is it just never feels quite right? I don't have line of sight of my team quite. It's like I feel like it's too aggressive, maybe. Mm, mm, okay, okay. I, I I think like the it might be okay for for early value. I guess the question is just like where is your team really taking this fight, right? Where in this? Where's the location? Like where are you guys like drawing the line to fight the enemy? Right there in the corner. Right. So. You, do you have good sightlines on your team from this position? I could, I could go, uh, maybe from the, maybe, maybe right. If, if what adjustment could you make with your positioning that you uh, think would make it improve it? Stay next to the soldier, maybe. Yeah, maybe just a little bit of rotation closer here, here. And why would that be better? Um, stand with my soldier, line of sight of my tank, can heal him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to me, it's just you can't see your tank. Um. So if you do need to heal your tank, it's a little bit too hard to. Because you can heal your soldier just fine, right? Yeah. But it's the, the sight line on your tank. Now, if you go here, you can still shoot the enemy team, right? You still have an angle to shoot the enemy team, but it's just a little bit easier to heal. Um, I don't mind you doing like more proactive, more uh, offensive kind of angles like these, though. I think that's pretty good. But it could be just slightly better. I like you check in there. Good shot. You're trying to sleep. Nice shots. Huge shots, really. Looking for that nade. I can smell it. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Even better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you could actually get to kill this guy now, so. Yeah, but they get the rest. I mean that's that's all right. That's a that's a great trade, you know, because it's not only is you know you get the resurrect out, but also the guy's doing nothing right mm -hmm. while he's dead and while he's being resed, and the mercy's also doing nothing while she's rezzing. So, um, you know, I mean, you look at their composition. There's a lot of good nade targets. I mean, obviously the easy ones like hey, nade the roadhog, but you know what, a naded bastion dies even faster. So, um, you know, I think actually nading the bastion there might have been even better. Um, so nice nade even if it was accidental, because I see the shot afterwards, which was really yeah. impressive. And and look what happens, right? Look what happens. The hog does not even get naded, but he dies because he's not, yeah, he's where's his... Healed. He's not getting healed, and he's not. he has no support from his Bastion. He has no support from his Mercy. He's got nothing, right? Um, so, I mean, obviously, it's a little bit lucky that you guys comboed it with Rock, but, you know, that when you do a good job as Ana, stuff dies, you know? Yeah. Well, not your team, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, this is like a on a dream team composition to play into. Yeah, now they went Winston. 
he just started diving me into the soldier. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It's a good. It's a good swap. It's a good swap, but it's still something that you could punish here. So, oh dear. I don't want you to rush the sleep versus the Winston. So, okay. um, I, I we have we've talked a lot about little micro things, right? Because it seems like you have the right big picture idea about like, you know, I need to be putting on pressure and doing damage and healing my team and hitting CDs. And you got that all, all the good. But just like we talked about like, hey, you know, a nated Bastion dies even faster than a nated Roadhog. We'll talk about another detail. And that detail is you do not rush to sleep during Winston um, unless you're sure that you're going to get it out before he uses his bubble. It's generally much better to try and nade him or sleep him, excuse me, after bubble has been used. Mm -hmm. Make him chase you out or you walk in. Make sense? Okay. Generally much more consistent. And it's good. Our usage is good. Just keep shooting bubble here if you want. Good trying to sleep. Okay. And then you're going to retake top. And everything's still going fine. Scary. That's okay. Now, uh huh. What should you do right now? Nade. Nade. Nade, Nade that bastion right there. You might hit the Winston as well. That's good too. Um, if you hit the Winston with Nade or Bastion or whatever before they even dive, you hurt them before they hurt you. Now, I wouldn't use my sleep dart here just yet. I want to save that to kind of defend myself versus the Winston, but you don't necessarily need both if you get good offensive value with that nade. Right. So right now, this is already, you're, you've missed the opportunity, right? Now, when is, why, why is it a good time to nade now? What about the situation right now? Since now is a good time to nade. Uh, they're both, both um, supports are being distracted by the Sombra. Right, but let's be honest, you didn't know that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right? And and that and 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 that and that to be, and that's not a bad thing to be very clear because you you've got your own stuff to worry about right you see what's on your screen right yeah so let me ask you the question again why do you know is it a good time to nade why do you, should you know there's three of them like right there that's it the fight's starting right look at your sigma right yeah look at the tank like this is we're going like the the the, the fight is starting now they're taking space we're fighting we're that's a good time to nade. That's a good time to name. So you're right about the distraction on the backline. That's a huge, huge thing, right? But that's, that's not reasonable for you to always know what's happening over here. But right. you should always know what's happening right here, and you missed that window. And because you missed that window, this Bastion is not taking enough damage. This Winston's not taking enough damage. This Cassidy is not taking enough damage. And so now you have a big nade opportunity here, which I assume you're going to go for as well. But the sooner you use the nade when it gets maximum value the sooner you'll get it back again. And ultimately, like, what, what ends up happening with that nade? Is it a bad nade? No. But it could but have been better. It could have been so much better. Good try of the sleep dart. I'm actually surprised it didn't hit. That was really close. But see, the thing the thing with Ana is you can you can accumulate... You can, you can count lost fights not as, oh, you threw the fight, you messed up, you died, you let somebody die, right? Oh, I, yeah, I, bet, I bet you looked at this and you're like, oh, no, I let my soldier die. Yeah, a little bit. Right, right. But but in reality, the only thing that you could have done better is see he jumps from the high, he jumps from the uh, above your head. You should have reacted a little bit faster here, right? But I don't even know if that would have saved him. So the real question is: is how did you throw this fight? How did you mess this fight up? Why did you guys lose this fight? The initial nade. I could the remember. initial nade. There was no pressure. No pressure. No damage. No nade. And you didn't even hit the sleep dart either. That's how you lost this fight. I would say 75% of fights that you lose as Ana that are your fault are not lost because you die, but because you miss the opportunities to get good damage. You miss position to where you can't do damage. You can't nade. You miss, or you just straight up miss the nade <laughs> or miss the shots, right? right? That, the vast majority of fights happen before you die or lost before you die. If that makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm pleased that you're like looking for these opportunities. You know, there's a reason you're masters and not diamond, right? There's a reason that you're masters and not plat. But when you fail to put out any sort of punish or pressure before the fight starts, this fight's just lost. Um, by the way, remember what we said about sleep? Mm -hmm. 
Just relax. There's no rush in the sleep there. I appreciate you going in there, but there's no rush. If you sleep from now on, you're fun. I will also say, Mercy is a little dense. <laughs> she could have, yeah. I had to have one. Oh my goodness gracious, that's insane. Oh gosh, okay, well. That's okay. Yeah, you're seeing it, right? You're yeah. seeing it, right? You see it again? So here, what should you do? Ah! What should you do right now? Uh, wait a little bit, get out of the bubble maybe, or sleep the Winston. Right, right. Cool down wise, you should immediately nade the floor right now. Nade, nade yourself, nade the Winston. Heal yourself, let the Mercy Beam, and hit him with purple, right? Mm -hmm. But don't sleep him necessarily. Then you see this here, what should you do now? He's inside, you're inside the bubble, right? You're looking right at him. Sleep him. Yeah. Right? Dude, you don't have to be like uh, freaking, are you familiar with the name Ryu Hong or Jonak, right? Oh, you course. know those guys? Of course. Okay, good, good, good. Good man of culture. All right. So, I mean, you you don't have to like go for these crazy flicks sleeps when they're just right here. Just sleep them. Right? Don't rush right. it. Because the problem now is not only are you way lower than you needed to be, but what if you pop Primal Rage there, right? Um, that's another little detail you have to consider. Sometimes it's actually not even worth sleeping Winston if he has Primal. You want to save it just in case. Sleep just buys you time. It doesn't kill the Winston necessarily. It just buys you time. Um, so you need to ask yourself that. That's good. Um, the nade was good. I think you just overflicted a little bit. Probably. But every sleep dart that you do looks like you're like... Way over flicking, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Not even it's close. like... It, it, it's, it's like... Um, it feels panicky, is what it does. Now, you know your gameplay better than I do. Is that something that you do sometimes? It's like that panic. Uh, the situation when there's like a wisdom, nano wisdom in my face, yeah, usually. Yeah, yeah. That's why, I, in many ways, I actually think that just take, making yourself take like an extra half a second might actually be good, a good habit for right now. Um, yeah. Just to force yourself just to slow things down a little bit. Because even a nano Winston is, is not going to kill you instantly unless he lands directly on you. Um, <clears throat> so just... Chill. Just chill yeah. a little bit, you know, because that sleep dart must land. <clears throat> okay. Back. Now, who should you nano? This is a trick question. <laughs> I wanted the soldier, I guess. Sure. Who else could you nano? Eva's a good target. Who else uh, could you nano? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nano should always go for somebody that's engaged. Um, and if your Ash is a good sightline, she's a great nano target. Soldier is a good sightline, great nano target. Diva, great nano target. So right now, I would probably nano the soldier just because of the sightline he has, right? But was that too early? Or? No, no. I mean, look, look what he sees, right? Perfect. Oh yeah. Right. It was too early for this. I hope you didn't nano him for these guys. Why? No. I, I saw him engage, and I was like, let's go in, and right, I, I think right. I calmed it. It's like, oh, I'm going to nano soldier. And just but what about these guys make them unnanoable, essentially? They're, like, way too far back. Cover. Right, behind cover, right? You can't quite get to them, right? This Winston, Sombra, Ana, if you knew the Ana was on cart, there's nowhere she can go. They're dead. Where are they going to sleep there? shoot the... Go ahead. Uh, I, I didn't when, when, right, right when he's sleeping. I didn't mean to like shoot him to wake him up. I meant to like shot shoot the Cassie like way in the back, but the hit. I mean, is... it still worked. Cause we'll re remember like the sleep only lasts three seconds, so yeah. Sure. You know, I mean, he's gonna wake up anyway. And remember, what is the sleep dart supposed to do? Is it supposed to save your life? No, it's just it's just supposed to buy you time. Buy me time. Okay. Did it buy you time? Yes. Enough. Yeah. Yeah, bought you plenty of time. Bought you time to regenerate back to full. Bought you time for your ass to be able to hit the the Winston sleeping. And he's in. Very nice. Good fight from you. Good nade, good sleep, good shots. Good healing, good damage. Good nade there as well. Wow. That was a great fight from you. Phenomenal. Nice. And you notice how little healing you did? <laughs> yeah, for real. Right? Like, but it was the it was the, the healing that you did mattered a lot. That and the damage that you did and the CDs that you landed was was really impactful. Very, very well done. Okay. Those fights always feel good, you know? Now, what do you think of your positioning? 
I could be a little bit farther back so he doesn't jump on me. Ah, right, right, right. But the question always is, when you're further back, are you going to be able to hit any shots? So, like, let's say, let's deposit you further back to here. What are the good things and bad things about this position? I can heal my entire team, but I have no silence of the enemy team. Right, and usually, to be honest with you, unless you're playing into a Widowmaker, that's too, it's too steep of a price to pay. Right. But the question is, is, can you have your cake and can you eat it too? Is there a site that you could take where you're outside of Winston jump distance and you can still shoot the enemy team? Right next to Ash. Yeah, yeah. You could, you could take this position here. Heck, you could even take this angle here. Bridge, yeah. Right, right. You literally play like a Widowmaker, right? Something to consider. Stop rushing it. True. The reason that you rush sleep darts is a kind of an Overwatch League thing where you don't want them, the Winston to jump on you, mm -hmm. right? Especially if he has Nano. So you sleep dart him early to make him use his bubble early, and then you could back up, right? Same thing like Whip Shot, right? But you don't need to rush your sleep darts, especially if you're not playing versus like Winston, Sombra, Tracer, or whatever. Good try. But you see, you getting this close to the Winston, see how chaotic it's been? Yeah. Do you know where anybody in the enemy team is right now? No, no idea. Check this out. They're all the way over there. I'm just giving you the sight lines here. You see this? Yeah. I gotta see how relaxing this is? See, see how it's relaxing this is? Yeah. This is like playing Kovacs. Oh, sleep him. Or not even sleep him. Just shoot the Ana. Shoot the Samba. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Easy. You see how easy this is? Yeah. There's something to consider. When we're looking for good positioning, you should just ask yourself, obviously, cover usage. But do I have good sightlines of my team and the enemy team? And usually having sightlines of your team means that you're not stacked on top of your team. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Very important, the difference between that. Um, also, let's, uh, let's just enjoy this really fast. The miss, yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. He's not fearless. Did it again. You needed to buy. You needed to buy yourself time with this because this guy's coming in at full HP. It's the same mistake with that. With the, your your mechanics are not bad. We've already seen your mechanics are, are fine. Um, you, but you're not doing yourself any favors. You're making your mechanics harder than they need to be. Some of the best mechanical players in the world are good in many ways because they are they make the shots easy. Right? They don't panic. They don't rush. They don't flick. They don't overflick. They make the shots easy. Okay, any questions so far? Uh, no. Um, okay, nice nade. nade. Yeah. Better sight lines, cover. Yeah, yeah, don't rush that sleep dart. Yeah, don't panic, basically. Don't panic, right. Take a second. Nice. Crazy that she lives that, actually. Nice nade, almost hit her. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> double pocket. That's crazy. Like this position here. Do you have a sight line? Yes. Hmm? Notice that if they jump your Hanzo, what could you do? Uh, I could just heal him. Yeah, heal, nano, nade him. Shoot the enemy team, right? Got a good sight line. They jump your Diva, you heal her. You're trying the sleep dart. That's one of the sleep darts where it's like, oh, I, I, I should have saved sleep dart for the monkey. Well, mm. where's the monkey? The way in the, right there. Right. The Is he likely to be able to jump you anytime soon? Eh, no, mm, maybe. Really. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But if you sleep dart this Cassidy, what happens to this Cassidy? He dies. He dies 100% with where he's positioned. 100%. So you know what? Sometimes it's okay to go for those gambles. It's okay. I really thought about not knowing the the bob, but then he went like way too far. Yeah, it took two. He had a long travel path, right? So that like they probably had time to hide. Nano bob is really bad if they can hide from it. Oh, you thought about nanoing, and you're like, I don't think she needs it. Then she got popped. It's okay. Ah! Again with the. That's okay though. Consistency is good. Consistently bad is even better because it means that there's not a lot of complicated issues you have to fix, right? It's the same theme. Good shot. Yeah, I mean, th that's such a huge shot. Wow. You could nano her if you wanted. She uh, wouldn't melt. Yeah. As soon as I see her, I do it. 
Yeah, good, 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 good. And then, and then, okay, so this is really important. First off, because she's nated. But second off here, when she's nanoed, I want you to maybe throw a heal or two at her. But I, I want you playing more offensively once this nano goes live. Okay. Because you don't, what do you have to heal now, right? Either she's not nated and she's going to be basically full HP with a Mercy Beam, right? Because 50% damage reduction. Or she's nated and you can't heal her anyway. So what should you be doing? Be way more aggressive. We, right, not just way more aggressive in terms of like, oh, it's a run forward and you know, just, just, just play Kovacs. Right. Play Kovacs. Shoot. Like there's, there's a missed nade opportunity right there. There's a, there's a missed opportunity on the shooting the, uh, the Ana as well. Missed nade. Rushed sleep dart. You actually slept the stone. It's unfortunate. And you are dead. And that's going to be probably a cap, actually. Is that a cap? Yeah. No, actually. Really? Okay, yeah. you guys come back as Kitsune, uh, Kitsune, I say. You guys come back as Kiriko and pop off. Let's see it. I want to see the clutch. Kill the squishy. Kill the squishy. Kill her. Kill him. Kill him. Ah! That's okay. You guys got the kill. Get Susu. Shoot, 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 shoot. Heal, shoot. Nice shot. Nice shot. So... Uh, is this Kiriko an attack? Yeah. Okay. Let's 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 take some notes with Ana. What do you need to practice with Ana from what we've seen? Uh, nade timing. Nade uh, timing. What do you, what it wouldn't regard? What do you mean nade timing? Because you're uh, right. But I, how would you phrase it? Not not to miss the opportunity on the nade. Right. When the fight starts, nade. Aim it precisely. For what's aggressing. Now, notice that we really didn't clarify what you should need, right? Mm -hmm. Tank, DPS, support. There's a reason behind that, because it depends, right? Right. Um, sometimes a nated tank is good. Sometimes a nated bastion is good. Sometimes nading the backline. You know, even if you nade the backline and you can't shoot the nade because they all hide, but you know what? You made them all hide. So what's happened to the tank and the DPS now, right? Um, it's still good, right? So use your judgment. Okay, what else? Positioning, uh, positioning what, of my team and better enemy team. On top. How does that look? That point right there. The what point? The one I just dropped in your Discord. Oh. Don't be. A, yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh. What else? See, um, don't panic with the sleep darts. Don't when I'm on. on the sleep darts. Take an extra half a second. Anything else? Those are the big three, I think. Mm, nano target. I mean, nano target is fine. Um, yeah, I guess. I think so too. I think that third one, at least in this review right here, was probably the most important one. All right. The panic on the sleep darts. Uh, the other ones, you're more familiar with your gameplay than I am. So you know like how good you are at those things. And you'll certainly be keeping an eye on those things moving forward. Practice those things one at a time. One per game, one per day, one per week, whatever. See a little bit of progress, move on to the next one. Um, doesn't have to be fixed. It's never gonna. It's never really going to be totally fixed. But see if you can make some progress at it to the point to where you do it a little bit better without thinking and then move on to the next skill. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's look at some Kiriko here. Like some offensive play. You got some Sigma, which means that you have a lot more flexibility with how you position. Um, my critique here, uh -huh. what is it? Go ahead. I, probably, I really could have saved the soldier. You probably could have. Um, and this is a beautiful mistake to make because it's a double mistake. Uh -huh. In other words, you made two mistakes in one. I understand the hog is going aggressive and you're okay at shooting hog. But you know what else we could be shooting right now? Squishies. Right? You see this angle here? Much more impactful and much higher chance of a kill, right? With your character. Your time to kill is the, is the highest of any support in the game, besides a Zion to right click. Um, yeah. Two headshots and they're dead. And who could you be helping at the same time? Oh dear. Right? This is what your character does best. Now, why else is it really good for you to be on an angle as Kiriko? What does your other ability do? 
Uh, teleport into suicide. Teleport, right? So who do you teleport to if you get in trouble to right here? Like, let's say the hog pushes you, where do you teleport? Mercy. Right? Uh, we got a problem. You see what I'm saying? All right. Your I teleport guess. target is right next to you. You have nowhere to go to. Whereas if you're over here and you draw a lot of attention and bait your attention over here, where can you run to? Back to my team. Back to your team. And now this teleport actually does something, right? So this is a double mistake. You should have helped your soldier in more ways than one. You see this? Yeah. Your soldier's on an angle. That's where Kiriko needs to be. Either damaging or healing or both. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, I know you're like, oh, I did a lot of damage to Hog. And, and to be fair, you did help force him out. You hit some nice shots. But it's not the most impactful thing you could be, have been doing at that point in time. Right. And that's why your soldier dies. Good Suzu? But it's not going to matter. You guys have lost the off angle. So all that distraction that that soldier was creating, preventing that Torbjorn from walking forward, preventing that Sombra, preventing that Ana, it's gone. The floodgates have opened. So really, your soldier was a better tank than your signal was. <laughs> That's funny. Great, Suzu. So shoot the hog now, but you should already be thinking what right now? Turn around. The Turn around. What is it? No, it's just shoot the enemy, the squishy, the enemy. Right, right. Well, well, where would you go? Where would you go? Push a little bit forward. Right. Well, you could. So here, here's what I want you to think. Here's what I want you to think. I, I want you to think less about the target that you're shooting with Kiriko. Uh huh. And I want you to think more about the angle that you're taking, the position that you're taking, and see right. what that position provides. All right. So there's two angles that you could take here. What are they? Um, under the to the right. Yeah, you could go right. So first off, you, you'd need to shoot the hog out here. Shoot, 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 get him out, then take this angle here. Wall climb up to here, take the single here. Right, this whole lane here. Where else could you go? Right side and left. Where on left? Inside the room, maybe? Yep, inside the room. And if you're going to shoot back line, I'd be shooting him from here, right? Good notice of yeah. cover usage here, right? I would prefer right, but if you were to shoot squishies, I'd want you to shoot you from cover on the left angle. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. So actually here, it's okay if you're shooting Hog, but you're shooting Hog with the intention of wrapping around him to get to this position here. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Think I'm going to set up an off angle with this character first. Then we go from there. You got the right idea here, right? You got me? Because <laughs> 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 you look you at the kill feed. <laughs> I don't yeah. know that I could have stopped that, right? Like, it's a, it's a nano whole hog. Like, you can't exactly Suzu that, right? Yeah. But, but you could do this. You could do this. Now, obviously, I'm not sure if you're going to get a TP, so maybe you're just staggering no. here. But, yeah, but uh, I mean, I'd be going for the Mercy 100%. Ah, oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. But I respect it. The most value you've had this character in the last minute and a half. Good discipline on that, Susie. That was scary. All that sweat and all that work, and your Sigma still diced. Yeah. You know? I'm I'm not saying that you could you could have you couldn't have played this better. I, I think it could have helped your, your Sigma a little bit more. But this is this is kind of what I'm talking about, right? Like, if you want to do this, go Baptiste. Right. Right? Otherwise, heal the guy. But th take an angle, right? Take an angle. Go up here, throw Kitsune Rush right here. I'm not, I'm not even joking. Get up here and Kitsune Rush to the high ground. Get her off. Kill her. Okay. Right? Or, or throw your Kitsune Rush on main for your team, and then you go, go take an angle yourself. It's weird. Her ultimate sometimes has like an anti-synergy with how she wants to play. But this is this is rough. Because again, even you not only do you let your Sigma die, but you're gonna sit here and you're gonna play Patty Cake with a Roadhog that you're probably not gonna even be able to kill. Hey, we got it. It's six years later, but but the reality of the situation is who's really winning this fight off screen? They are. Not even, check this out. Watch. You see this? Yeah, they you had the right idea. See this? 
If I was the Genji, I would be losing my brain. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally solo killing this backline. I mean, look at this, right? Yeah. That's your job. That's where, that's where you're the best support in the game. There's not a support in the game as good as Kiriko at following your DPS, following off angles, healing those off angles, and also helping them by doing damage. Mercy's not as good because Mercy can pocket them, but Mercy can't follow. She's, she, she just gets shot down too easily, right? Lucio is okay, but Kiriko's better. Look at you. Wow, that was nice. nice shots. But do you understand what I'm saying? Holy yeah. crap, dude. Okay. Was that a 5k? <laughs> no. I think 4k? Uh, soldier got the soldier. It's an honorary 5k. It was close enough. Close enough Nicely yeah. done. Nicely done. Nicely done. Now, this is fine. Somebody has to push cart, right? So, you know, if you want to be that guy, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, because... Uh, Everyone else was pushing. I was like, well, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it really, really, truly, it's fine. And if it happens, it happens. Don't worry about it. Somebody has to do it. Nobody wants to be on cart, but somebody has to do it. So if it's you, it's all right. But as soon as cart's not a huge priority, then that's when you need to be thinking about, you know, off angles and stuff like that. All right. Mm hmm. Uh oh. So now you're working with a tank that's going to demand a lot more babysitting. So here's what I would say. Throw healing towards her when you can, but do not compromise your positioning. Okay. I know that that feels hard, and I know that they're going to complain in voice chat and, and, and report you and yell at you in match chat, but you're going to win more games. All right. Because this Arisa is just going to bleed damage. If you're on BAP, different story. But this, this is where, this is, this is, this is peak Kiriko right here. Yeah. In fact, I would pop your ultimate right now. I was just thinking that. Pop it. There's nowhere he can go. At some point, you got to ask yourself, like, what is my ultimate for? What are the two things that ultimates do, or three things that ultimates do? Uh, confirm the win on the on the team fight. Sure. By doing what? Right. That's the one thing it does. But what are the things it does to help that? Uh, be aggressive. Uh, be aggressive. Take space. Attack. Force CDs. Force attention. Get kills. Stuff like that. Right. Yeah. All of those things are going to happen here, right? They're going to die. He's going to die. Mercy's going to run away. Attention's going to be thrown your way. Cooldown's going to be thrown your way. And that's how you win fights, right? Now, that's a fight winning play right there. Mm -hmm. Was it late on the, on, the, on the rush? Or? Yeah, oh, very late. Yes, of course. Okay. You sh it, it should have been over 10 seconds ago, right? Um, but you at least did it, right? And yeah. he's busy typing in match chat, cringe, double ult. You guys are all... But you know what? He's in. He's in. He, he's in spawn. Yeah. He's in spawn, and you guys are winning this fight. In theory, anyway. But you know, you know what? You know what happened here? You guys lost to a better play. Yeah. You guys lost to a better play. Now, to be fair, they also committed four ultimates. You guys committed three. Yeah. But look what their soldier did. How did they win this fight? By healing the Roadhog more than you held your Arisa? No. Here's how they won this fight. Soldier on the flank. Nano Valk visor. Valk visor. You see this? Yeah. This is this wins this wins Overwatch games. This kind of play. That's fine. They did it better. That's all. And to be honest with you, if your mercy had not fed, you guys still could have won this fight. Even into that. Um but yeah. Don't there's absolutely no shame with what you guys just did. And there's also no shame with you doing this right now. But when would you want to go for a play like this? Is the question. Uh, the beginning of the fight. Uh oh. Yeah, it's not happening. It's not if happening, right? Pick, it's not. It's not going to be worth it. So because. when you go for these flanks and when you go for these plays, your situational, your peripheral awareness is going to dip, and that's natural. Why? Because there's more stuff happening off screen. Because you're not sitting behind your Arisa, right? So it's right. going to be. So I'm not saying don't go for a play like this. Just make sure that you know what's going on around you. Fight winning play. Right there. Mm -hmm. People will say support moment, but th that's just them coping and seething and molding, right? Yeah, you real. just you just what you just won. You just won. You you didn't heal your Risa. You made a play. And not only that, but who else are you helping now? Right? You're helping another playmaker, right? You're helping your you're helping your Reaper. Really, really bad Suzu, but that's okay. Yeah. It's all right. Now, remember, 
what got you a start on this fight? The pig on the soldier. And don't become a basic Betty afterwards. What's going to win you this fight now? Healing your Arisa more? No, just going on an off flank. Going on an off angle. Make a play. Heal your Arisa. I'm not saying don't heal your Arisa. Heal your Arisa. She's okay. Back to full. Make a play. Make right. a play. Heal your Arisa. Go back. I mean, think about your heal buff, right? Like that gives you more range on, on where you can play and angles that you can play. Find an angle onto that Cassie. Find an angle onto that Mercy. You feel useless? A little bit, yeah. It feels. Fr it's, it's. It feels. It's a bit of all. You needed to heal more. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> all that for nothing. Yeah. You know. All that for nothing. I appreciate the proactivity, but it dies. Oh my days. One of my teammates asked for Ana, so I just. No, I mean what? I, I, oh, yeah. I mean, Ana is also very good here, but it's you know it's the, it's the same conversation that we had with Ana. You know, it's like where where's the nade? You know, where's the uh, where's the playmaking? Um, I mean, there's there's nothing really to say here. Is your Arisa flaming you in chat? Nah, no. Oh, that's good. Exactly, a, a friend of mine. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, I've been flaming your friend this whole time. I feel hey, no, bad it's now. It's fine. It's great. <laughs> it's not. It's not really about. <laughs> oh gosh. It's not really about who's playing tank or even what yeah. the tank is. The idea is still that proactivity, make plays, right. make plays, find value out of your kit, enable off angles. Okay, so let, let, let's 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 stop there and let's take some notes. Kiriko, uh -huh. what do you need to practice? Off angles. Right. Take off angles out, put pressure, and help other DPS. Ports, tanks, put out pressure. It's not that you don't play with your tank, but if, like, let's say you're you, you and your baller on a flank, that's good. Yeah. You know, maybe your wrist wants to go for something saucy, that's good too. But you need to be controlling flanks. You need to be controlling angles. That's what Scarecrow is the best at. Because it's not only about shooting squishies, but you see that out. That's also what gave you an escape route. That gave you that TP. Otherwise, I wasn't there. Okay, what else? That's the most important one. Um heal botting not to be like on my tank fight the urge to heal bot make plays escape rinse and repeat heal in the in between all the time but never make it your sole priority what about your ults uh proactivity with it proactivity um, don't overthink it. Just throw it, yeah. Use it to win 1v1s, flanks, high grounds, 2v2s, etc. It's such a flexible ultimate, you know? It's yeah. just, it's it's not going to be used to counter a fill-in-the-blank. Just use it. Just use it. Okay. Any questions?